Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Delhi Tarot and these are your monthly readings for January 2022 for the Sun, Moon and the Rising Sign of Libra. Now before I start your reading, I have a lot of quick announcements to make. Number one, I want to thank each and every one of you on my channel for giving me your support, your love for the complete year 2021. It is only because of your support that I was able to pull out the channel so well. Secondly, I'm also thankful to all the people who have trusted me for their private reading, their personal readings, their healing processes, which are generally a little long. And I'm so thankful that you have showered your love on my channel and my personal services as well. Now I have done some special 2022 reading on the channel. And I have covered all of you into the numerology tarot reading number series. So I have covered nine number series where I have covered people who are born from first of any month till 31st of any month starting from January to December. So whatever date you are born, your number will definitely fall on either of the number numerology tarot reading, the number series which I have done for 2022. I will be posting few links on the video end, but all the numbers are available on the channel. You can definitely go and have a look on those detailed numerology tarot reading. It also holds the numbers which are lucky for you in the year 2022. So check that out, please. And yes, there are a lot of people who are writing the mail to me for the very first time. I'm so thankful that you are approaching me on my email ID. I wanted to request you that whenever you are writing an email to me, please keep in mind, do mention your complete name, your date of birth is very important for me for your private reading and your country and time zone is even more important because then only I can fix up your WhatsApp video call or I can fix up your Zoom call. I really appreciate your understanding and mentioning your details and all the private reading and private healing processes are paid processes. So please connect with me accordingly. Now let us proceed towards your reading, Sun, Moon and Rising Libra, January 2022. What do we need to know? Now there is heavy rain going outside my place, so you might hear few noises. You have caring connection Libra in the month of January. And then you have the world. That's amazing. Very powerful energies in the month of January. Angels, what do we need to know for Libras? What do we need to know for Libras, January 2022? What do we need to know for Libras? It is, it is up to you. And opportunity, that's a lovely card. I'm sensing good vibrations, Libra. What I'm sensing from your reading that you are reviving of maybe... A struggle you're reviving out of a tough time you're reviving out of delays but what I am sensing from your reading it, it is not going to be ad hoc it will take three to five or six months of time to completely recover to the position wherein you want to be in your life personal and professional both now let me see what do we have in your fairy messages what do we have in your fairy messages Sun, Moon and Rising, Libra. Sun, Moon and Rising, Libra. Sun, Moon and Rising, Libra. Spiritual teacher, Libra. That's you are. And we have patience, please. Now, when I was reading your cards, I was requesting you that it is going to take three or six months of time and completely revival and that's what we need to hear so i'll start the reading from this card your fairy says this is a fairy deck and it says patience please what you are asking for is coming about have patience as there are unseen factors that need to occur first what i am sensing libra you are actually going through your life lessons i am not going to tell you that this is your karmic lesson what I'm getting the message from my angels is that the lessons, the delays which you are getting in these, in these duration of six months gap, these lessons are going to help you in your future profile, future positions, 
your life which you are going to witness after three to six months of time you will be using this experience this exposure this life lesson in near future it is not that the delay is happening without any reason if you feel that you have struggled it the the nature want to prepare you for something big and that is why the nature want you to go through all this so that once you are done with these tough time delays challenges you know things not getting done the revival happening slowly all these experience and exposure you are you are going to use this very soon and that is why the angels are the fairies are telling you to hold on your patience they are at your back they are working but you need to definitely wait for some time what i am sensing the kind of opportunity the kind of position the kind of profile the kind of dream job the kind of dream project you are looking forward to i am sensing it is going to take roughly till may 2022 and from june onwards you will see that what you need is actually coming to you on table on its own and by the time the nature is preparing you to be ready for that time and i am reading this card of opportunity and that's the opportunity the angels are talking about meanwhile you will keep on getting all the type of opportunities small big maybe something you will only do for you know for passing your time something you will do only for your pocket something you will do only to continue your professional tenure with something but the real opportunity the kind of a uh, prestigious opportunity the kind of big opportunity dream opportunity is going to take little time and then you also have a spiritual touch libra you have a sign of balance you know how to neutralize yourself you know how to you know how to forgive it's very difficult libra it's very difficult when you have to forgive something you have you have nurtured for so many years but you have that healing touch by nature that's why your sign is a scale because you can balance out things well and it says your life purpose involves teaching others about healing and spirituality give it a thought give it a thought libra you have that healing touch and it is up to you that how you are taking all these messages try to use the time maximum in your learnings and then you have caring connections you are going to get support from all windows from all doors from all connections in the month of january you will see that how you are able to support and how people are going to support you and this is all your guardian angels i'm telling you your guardian angels are very much there they don't want you to feel alone in your tough time and they are with you for sure and the world is here why the revival is taking time you are now completing a major major time of your life libra and now you will be entering into a very very prosperous life phase i claim this because it's in your own energy oracle now you are you are done with few karmic lessons in the year 2021 this is what i'm sensing but now it's the time of self introspection it is the time when you you are feeling that oh i have learned this now i would have implemented in the past but everything has its own time now since the very big opportunity is about to come so now you have even done your homework your self introspection and you will be moving forward with all that golden experience and exposure in your hand for future very powerful reading i must say now let me see what do we have in detail what do we have in detail with tarot and i shall be looking into your weeklies i shall be looking into your weeklies let me see what do we have in your weeklies oh my goodness in week 1 look at this week 1 we have two major arcana card that's the decision and the chariot okay let me see what do we have in week 2 in week 2 we have 6 of raphael in week 3 we have justice coming to you libra we were just talking about your scales and in the last week in the last week i would like to shuffle it one more time in the last week 
you have eight of Raphael. So your angel for the month is Raphael. You're going through some healing Libra. I feel your heart is a little hurt and this is not personal. This is not about personal relationship. This is hurt from your professional life, from your career, from your job, from your business end. It is something related to your professional life. Let us start with week one. Now in week one, you have a major arcana card and it is talking about a decision. It says release yourself from that which holds you back, a need to detox, unnecessary vary based on a lack of self-confidence. Though this card is talking about decision, but my angels have a message for you, Libra. You know, whenever I do reading, I keep on getting the messages in between from my angels and I'm just the medium. And they say, there is no need to hurry. You need rejuvenation. You need internal healing over emotional bleeding. Take your own time, whatever is comfortable. Now, I'm not telling you to say immediate yes or immediate no to something. Take your time, something which you feel you're resonating with. Give trials to different things and take your time in making a decision. Don't run and don't rush. The angels are telling you to take one step at a time. Detoxify your mind, body and soul. Be comfortable. Neutralize your energies and then move forward. And then you will definitely move forward because you have the chariot. Now, chariot is an energy. When you collect all the energies from all different places, collect it back and then you are setting your focus, target intentions again and then you move forward. So this is definitely going to happen very soon, Libra. It says determination and self-control, career advancement, knowledge of success by others. That's a lovely message. Now let me see what do we have in clarification with week one. What do we have in clarification with week one? We have the magician. Yes, you are, Libra. We have king of wands. And we have the Hierophant. Now look at this. Even in the first week of January, you have two, you have rather four major arcana cards. The decision, the chariot, the magician. The magic is going to flow with your hands. The moment you're going to touch anything, it is going to get converted into gold. You keep on moving on your own values and ethics in life. You're going to get the things done nicely. And you are king of wands. You are people's person. You have an energy of Aries, Leo, Sagittarius coming in. But this is your own fire energy, your own passion, your own will to succeed over something in your life. Definitely, you want to succeed and you're even ready to work very hard for it. And you're a people's person, Libra. Keep on your hard work. Don't run. Have patience. You're going to get the right thing. Justice is already coming in your life soon. In the second week, you have six of Raphael. Now, Raphael is an angel of healing. You can definitely call Archangel Raphael to heal you. Embrace your inner child, new friends or rekindle relationships, children or childhood. You can definitely connect with your friends, families, so that you get some rest, some break, some rejuvenation, Libra. Let us see what do we have in detail for week two for you. What do we have in detail for week two? And we have Queen of Swords. We have Five of Cups. And we have Four of Cups. Now, whatever you are getting, I told you in your reading just a while ago that the opportunities which are coming to you, Libra, maybe you are just doing it for your passing time or maybe for some pocket money. You don't want to stop your finances but whatever is being offered to you, you're not that interested actually. You're not feeling that it is coming or it is being presented to you by universe as per your skill, competencies and worth. And you are actually feeling that, oh, I have lost whatever I have gained in the past. And, you know, I'm not going to get anything in future. But hold on. The Four of Cups says that though you're not interested in whatever is being offered to you, and yes, you feel that no opportunities are coming and I am not getting something of my choice. But look at your back. Two cups are filled. It is just the matter of time. You need to wait for the right time. 
be very cautious of your precaution you have wisdom you have maturity this is your own energy libra but you have to be very careful of your words in the second week in the third week you have justice your own card libra it says fight for justice and equality ruling made in your favor don't give up keep on working hard for yourself and it is definitely going to bring the kind of success you want and by the way your angels have told me that year 2024 is going to be the best year of your life and you're going to see you're going to see huge heights in your personal and professional life satisfaction success you know on top of your career that energy you have nine of swords anxiety stress still with you and then you have two of cups two people coming together this is a collaboration this is an alliance this is a partnership this is also two people coming together in a love relationship so if you're single i always tell you when you have two cup two of cups be ready to mingle somebody is going to say knock knock to your life and then you have a page of cups message phone call email person telling you there is a message for you and the message is related to your personal and professional life both because this is a general reading in the area wherein you are waiting for a message that message is going to be of that field this is a general reading you have eight of Raphael in the reading now eight is a number of expansion for sure but it tells you there is something better waiting for you do what you want is right for you a spiritual quest i'm telling you it is telling you again and again there is something better waiting for you whatever you need it will come but try to neutralize your energies with patience you have the fool you are, you, you are definitely moving towards a new journey you have five of pentacles and then you have king of cups now there is some loss there is maybe a money loss maybe a relationship loss but you are definitely moving on to a new journey and the revival is definitely going to take little time if you feel that you are not interested in something i will still tell you not to give up don't lose your financials don't lose your time you still have big five six months to go and get what you truly desire from your life it is going to take a little time and then you have king of cups whatever you are into you are a people's person and you will be able to handle everything very nicely with care and affection for sure that's a lovely reading but i hope the message is clear to you for sure now let me see which crystal is going to be lucky for you in the month of january 2022 which crystal is going to be lucky for you and what is the message related to that crystal what is the message related to that crystal you have turquoise that's a lovely stone you know there is a lot of spirituality coming into your reading there are three cards even this card was also talking about your spiritual quest and it says a spiritual path your true beliefs are becoming clear to clearer to you which prompts you to make necessary life changes you know i am sensing third eye and i i think you must do third eye chakra healing there are a lot of youtube video available on third eye chakra when you do third eye chakra healing yourself you start looking clearly for yourself and it is just not about spirituality it's about looking at your life its focus its intentions clearly that is really going to suit you for sure now let me see what divine what divine door messages do we have for you in january 2022 what divine door messages do we have what divine door messages do we have for 2022 i have got one i need one more okay passages spiritual signs of oh my goodness one reading talking about spirituality that much it says spiritual signs of inclination you're walking through passages of your transformation needless to say libra in the beginning only i told you that you need this life lesson to handle the success which you are going to get in another five to six months of time for sure 
Trust the universe. Intuition has wandered and let you astray. The timing is not yours, but the universe at play. This is not the right time for a very, very big change or opportunities. But this is the time to learn self-introspect because all these months are going to help you in handling the kind of prosperity growth you're going to get in just a few months from now. Dear Libra, that was your lovely, super powerful reading for January 2022. Do let me know over comment section that how you're liking my, you know, uh, the new year readings of the number series which I have done. And by the way, I just forgot to share. This has been made by my son. And my son has told me that I have need, I need to keep it on my table so that every one of you can see it lightly. Isn't it beautiful? Snowman, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to all of you. I will see you next time very soon.